<clears throat> oh, see if we can do this right. <clears throat> this is special report with Luna. Hi, I am Luna, and this is special report. Now we have not had a little special reports on this you on this YouTube uh, fairway in some time. But first off, there was used to be a YouTube. Well, there wasn't. I mean, a webstead on the interweb called What's and in Salem Moon TV dot com that at one time had the Deep Pioneer Cloverway and Viz Dubs of Salem Moon as well as both the Japanese sub and Spanish subs, as well as PGSM, the abridged, and the song shows. But the hang-up first started out, happened, when they couldn't play nothing for a day. But some would believe that it was only a one-time thing. And then last week, or a week before that, uh, nothing played. No films played anymore. Now, if you seek to go to the Webstead, you'll be told that their server, or whatever you want to call it, is no longer running. Now, Luna says, I have some beliefs over what happened. First off, the owner, whoever he or she was, who ran the Webstead, got in a bind with ownership law over the Sailor Moon things. It was revealed that he or she had the disses to both Deep Pioneer, Cloverway, and Viz. But just since you own it does not mean that you have the right to put it on the interweb for others to watch it. That is that does that is that was in a bind of the ownership law. Now, someone are going to say, but he or she lives in Canada. True, but Canada does have their own ownership laws over stuff as well as the United States. So no one can claim, so that cannot be a loophole. That cannot be a way of getting past ownership law if your land has an ownership law too. And since he or she was in a hang-up of ownership law, knowing that they did not have the right to put it on the interweb, Toei told them to either take it off or they would be in a lawful fight. And Club Sailor Moon, he or she knew that they wouldn't win if they wanted to go into a lawful fight. Now I know there's going to be some folks out there who are going, who are really sad that they lost another Sailor Moon Webstead out there. Yes, we were also sad that we lost a Sailor Moon Webstead out there, but it is what it is. Any time that you are putting something on the interweb, and you haven't done and it, and you're putting a full film or Farseer show, or song, or song show, or anything like that, or Farseer game on the interweb, and you didn't get the right to do it, and you didn't do enough shifts to it to make it where it was fair work, you knew you were in a bind with ownership law. And that's what I believe happened to SailorMoonTV.com. I believe that is exactly what happened. He or she knew that if they couldn't put their Sailor Moon stuff on the interweb, then there was no need, no, no, then there was no grounds for having a webstead. Now, keep in mind here that this is a belief, but it has happened many times before. We have come across Sailor Moon websteads that first had Sailor Moon on them and then had to be taken down by of ownership law. It happened before on YouTube. It happened on Vugon. It happened on what Sailor Moon Online. It happened on Anime Planet or whatever you want to call it. 
and it happened on SailorMoonTV.com. So this has happened many times. And hopefully Club Sailor Moon has learned that you just can't take something, even if you own the film rings, and you can't put it on the interweb without getting the all right to do so. You know? So I believe that SailorMoonTV.com became another beaten of not following ownership law. And yes, I know some of you folks out there will say, but Club Sailor Moon is from Canada, not the United States. True. But Canada, but Canada has its own ownership laws that are just like the, just like the United States ownership laws over things. So even if you're not in a bind with ownership laws in one land, you might get in a bind of ownership laws in another land. This has been special. I am Luna, and this has been Special Report.